Hello and welcome to Wattcast. My name is Roger Watson and these podcasts are dedicated to readings of various articles that I've had published in newspapers and magazines. They reflect my views on politics, the pandemic and current affairs. Thank you very much for listening. G7 or GWIS, the rank hypocrisy of the global elites. This is my Unity News Network column of the 14th of June 2021. The utter hypocrisy of the world leaders attending the G7 summit in Cornwall was both staggering and illuminating. Staggering in that this was a meeting of probably the most COVID orthodox people in the world who have imposed some level of restriction on their populations and illuminating in that it clearly revealed what they really think of the rest of us. For anyone with any doubt in their minds as to the fact that there is one law for them and another for the rest of us, the scales must have fallen from their eyes. There they were, unmasked, hugging, backslapping, shaking hands and sitting in close proximity, dining off the fat of the land, surrounded by their masked and socially distanced lackeys. Meantime, with zero prospect that the current state of affairs in the UK will be lifted on 21st June, there are even hints that we will remain thus until next spring. Having caused all the problems we are currently facing, these completely out of touch with reality leaders gather and purport to fix them. If ever there was a better job creation scheme, I'm not aware of it. They lock us down, close businesses and limit the number of people and from how many households who can meet. They ban weddings and proper funerals and force us to wear masks. They jet in from across the globe while the rest of us are lucky to get near an airport and they have the temerity to lecture us about climate change. Naturally, their job of rearranging the economic deck chairs while the world economy goes under takes precedence over the man and woman on the street being able to feed and house their families. And then, as the grand finale to the summit, the geriatric Doommeister General of Climate Change Wokery, the surviving Attenborough brother, whips them up into a frenzy of self-abnegation over all things to do with global warming, overpopulation, and fish tangled up in Tesco bags. They vow to each other to make life even more miserable for the rest of us before a final barbecue and off across the globe again in a state of smug self-righteousness in their state-sponsored private jets. I wonder if one of these well-fed, pumped-up Prime Ministers and Presidents ever stops to wonder if they've achieved anything. Does one of them ever leave a G7 meeting thinking, that was a load of old bollocks, I'm not coming back next year? Somehow I doubt it. Too risky to burst the bubble of mutual admiration and congratulatory platitudes. They shore each other up like a row of dilapidated buildings on the point of collapse that miraculously never actually collapses. I have no idea what it would take to end the extravagant rounds of G7 meetings and fill the vacuum with something genuinely useful. Clearly, a global pandemic did not do the trick. Perhaps a world war or a massive nuclear disaster might keep them in their bunkers for a while. I'm not advocating, merely saying. However, I guess the G7 meetings will continue and even grow to become the G8. I imagine that it will not be long before China is admitted to help row the boat. If that happens, just watch how quickly it takes them to get their hands on the tiller. This podcast was produced in association with youpublicationslimited.com.